everybody? Well, it's summertime, and this year I decided to buy a riding lawnmower. Well, the mower I bought was 100 bucks, and it was a $100 mower. Riding mower. Had a ton of damage to the deck, but otherwise it ran pretty good. Um, I didn't know exactly how much damage until I got it home and, uh, and investigated really down the, down the back middle of the deck. There's a big crack. So I decided I didn't want to spend $200 to buy just a deck for a $100 mower. And Pure Pride didn't want to let me just quit on this, this mower that I had just bought. So did some research, and I decided I was going to try using some automobile filler. Um, I used Bondo hair. It's a long strand fiber, uh, fiberglass fill, and I used that. I bought it for $13 at Walmart. Um, I got some fiber cloth from Menards. I got some rust reformer by Rust-Oleum. It's a spray can that bonds to rust. Uh, it's, a, it's a spray paint that bonds to rust specifically, helps seal it. Uh, those are the three big things. Other things, I had a drill. Um, I had some nuts and bolts and washers. Um, I had some wax paper to help seal the, uh, to smooth out the fiber once I had it on there. Um, and yeah, but otherwise, uh, follow these steps along the side here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, and yeah, uh, so far I've mowed with the, mowed with the, the deck uh, one time since uh, the repair was complete. It felt a lot better than it did the first time when I, when I was mowing with it when it was cracked, which is really unsafe. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this video helps you because the way I got here was watching different videos from different places on the internet that um, kind of led me down this path that I, I think I could do this. And just a disclaimer, I don't have any bodywork experience. I'm not a mechanic. So if I can do it, you can do it. So again, I hope the video helps and thank you for watching. So here's the mower the day I got it. And uh, let's go on to the damage. As you can see, this big crack is kind of like this. The main crack kind of goes almost all the way up, pretty much to the front here. This is pretty uh, sturdy, but obviously this is what it should be like. Over here, this area, still pretty strong. Um, the blade guard is right underneath that. Uh, yeah, down in there. So I don't know if that's helping or hurting, but yeah, this stuff is kind of crunchy. And here's the part that concerns me. This is the spot where one of those pins goes in. And the thing that's holding the, the mounting bracket is a little loose. So yeah. All right, real quick, I got the, the deck here. I did the front piece of fiber already on the left-hand side. That's kind of what it looks like when it's done. Uh, on the right-hand side, far right, you can see there's a, a dark brown square. That's where I put my metal reinforcement with my nuts, screws, and washers. Um, and the white stuff is the fiber cloth. I've kind of got it glued down. I'm waiting for it to dry. So next I'm going to put Bondo over the whole rest of the... Uh, the white area and out onto the black part of the deck to, to really seal it in. I'm going to do it across this part. I'm going to do it under those spindles along the top too. So I'm getting close to being done with my fiberglass. You can see this is just drying. It gets really warm, uh, the Bondo stuff does. It really gets quite warm when, uh, when it's curing. So I got my wax paper on uh, this area. And I just have a little bit back here, still need to get to. Um, and then just a, a, a spot here. And then I'll probably do, um, I'll probably be painting this, and I'll probably do some on the underside of the deck as well. So here's the bottom of the deck. I took my blades off and I uh, rust sealed them. Um, I put my fiberglass over my two spots that the mounting bracket was weak. You can see there's the screw I added uh, for the bracket. I kind of kept this groove the same. I uh, went along the back, uh, along this groove as well. This is the big crack from the top. Comes all the way over, comes up and goes onto the front there. And then you can see I got all four of my screws 
uh, reinforced. I'd like to do these a little better, but I'm running low on Bondo. Um, and then I've just got to do this area here. This is the big, this is, this is not load bearing uh, yet, but uh, I got some of the level two, or the, the sh short hair stuff that I'm probably gonna use because I'm uh, just about out of my long fiber, so. So here's what the deck looked like when I was done. I had finished sealing the whole thing again with Rust Reformer. It looks better, but obviously it could have been, I uh, could have made it look better, but for a lawnmower deck, it's, you're not going to see it. So, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's what the, the top looks like. And, uh, here's what the bottom looks like. Okay. So I got my deck mounted. Um, Still trying to decide what I want to do with this wire hanger, but I got all my uh, holes repaired. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna fire this puppy up and see what she can do. So, big thumbs up. <laughs>